space, planets, moons, stars, and more. What do you see when you think of outer space? Strange planets? Rocket ships? Aliens? Would you believe we are all in outer space right now? It's true. Earth is just a tiny part of the universe. Everything is part of the universe. That includes the planets, the moon, the stars, and you. You can see some of the universe in the night sky. You can also see part of it during the day, the sun. The sun is actually a star. It is just like the tiny points of light you see in the sky at night. Is the sun the biggest star? No, it's just closer to Earth than any other star. Because the sun is so big, it attracts other giant bodies to it. The force that attracts smaller things to bigger things is called gravity. Eight planets are pulled toward the sun. They circle or orbit it. The space neighborhood is called the solar system. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. It is a rocky planet with craters and volcanoes. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is surrounded by thick clouds. It is the hottest and brightest planet in the solar system. Next is Earth, our home. It is a rocky planet, mostly covered with water. It is the only planet that can support human life. Earth has one moon. Mars is called the red planet. It gets its red color from the rusty iron soil. People used to think there were creatures on Mars called Martians. Mars has two moons. They are not round like our moon. The next four planets are called giant planets. They are made of gases or icy materials. Each one has many moons. Jupiter is a gas giant. It is the largest planet. It is so big that all other planets could fit inside it. Saturn is the sixth planet. It is also a gas giant. It is known for its beautiful rings. The rings are made of ice, dust, and rocks. Uranus, Uranus, is the seventh planet and a ice giant. Uranus also has rings. It is blue-green and tipped on its side. Neptune is the eighth planet. This ice giant has wild winds that blow 1,500 miles per hour. Its gases make it appear bright blue. We used to think there was a ninth planet called Pluto. But in 2006, scientists decided it was too small to be a real planet. It is now called a dwarf planet. The other dwarf planets are Ceres, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. There are other objects in our solar system too. Asteroids are rocks that orbit the sun. There are millions of them between Mars and Jupiter. Some are hundreds of miles wide. Others are the size of a school bus. A smaller space rock is called a meteoroid. If one reaches Earth, it's called a meteorite. Comets are like giant dirty snowballs. They are made out of ice, dust, and rock. As comets get closer to the sun, the ice changes to gas. This makes one or more beautiful tails. The most famous comet is Halley's Comet. You may see it in the night sky one day when you are all grown up. It should appear again in the year 2061. Our solar system is not the only thing in the universe. It is a part of a huge neighborhood of other stars. 
The sun is just one of billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy, where we live. A galaxy is a group of billions of stars orbiting around a common center. Many of these stars have planets orbiting them. If you can believe in it, the universe is even bigger than that. Outside our galaxy are billions of other galaxies. The universe is huge. Let's talk more about life on our planet. It takes one year for the Earth to orbit the Sun. Because of the Earth's position as it orbits, we have four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Earth would not have life without the sun. The sun gives off light and heat. The sun gives energy to plants to help them grow. Earth is also spinning like a top. It takes 24 hours or one day to spin around once. This spinning is why we have daylight and nighttime. The sun also lets us see the moon. The biggest object in the night sky is the moon. It is our closest space neighbor. It orbits Earth. Once a month, you can see the whole moon. This is called the full moon. At other times, the moon looks as if a bite has been taken out of it. This happens because we only see the part of the moon lit up by the sun. The different shapes of the part of the moon we can see are called its phases. How do we know all this stuff? Astronomers make many discoveries. They are scientists who study outer space. They use telescopes and other tools to learn about the universe. Astronomers search for planets orbiting faraway stars. They hope to find a planet like ours. Maybe one day they'll discover life on another planet. Do you wish you could explore the universe? Start by looking at the night sky. Search for constellations. A constellation is a group of stars that form a pattern. The pattern may look like an animal, a person, or an object. Astronomers learn new things about the universe every day. Who knows, maybe one day you'll look up and discover something new.